the evenings before the three three minute rounds and the Outer Mixed Martial Arts rules in the lightweight division. So introducing first, hiding out of the blue corner. Tonight making his engaged debut, representing SVG Rockstale. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Macaulay His opponent, standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, enters tonight with a record, one defeat, representing Frank's Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, Rafael Mikey! Your referee in charge next to Mr. Paul Crossley. Referee Paul Crossley about to get this one underway, three three-minute rounds in the FCC lightweight division. Macaulay Donnelly in the blue representing SBG Rochdale taking on Raphael Malik in the black representing Frank Jim. Second Frank Jim versus SBG Rochdale fight of the night. The first one ended in a decisive KO victory for the Frank Jim man. So let's see if Donnelly can put one back on the scorecards for SBG Rochdale here. Yeah, it'll certainly help motivation going into uh, future fights. But uh, it's just one thing we know about Frank's gym is that they're always, front foot, they're always on the front foot. They're always, uh, they're always decisive, they're always... Oh, we've got an uh, interruption here. Yeah, the referee just warning there for uh, open hands. You have to have your fist closed if you extend your hand forward. Just one of those things that's been put into the, uh, the unified rules over the past few years to help prevent eye pokes where possible. Nice level change there from Mikhail. And you'd think this would really be the SPG Rochdale man's wheelhouse, but Mikhail showing that well-rounded game early on. You see a lot of the Frank's Gym guys know the strikers, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's not something you always see from Frank's Gym, but it, that, that takedown looked textbook. Uh, really well shot. Looks really controlled up against the cage. Yeah, perhaps a sign of good adaptability from Raphael there. We saw the opening, went for it, mm -hmm. and now looking to put some points on the ball. He's going to have to pass this guard, though, if he wants to score from that takedown. Nice right there, tight, the wrap of those legs by Raphael. Pin this man against the cage. Nice wrist control from McCauley. Listen to his corner. Yeah, you see McCauley just looking over to Martin Stapleton there in the, in the opposite corner, just trying to get a little bit of advice, a little bit of guidance. Trying to slip those feet out and put his back on the cage to stand up. But a great job there from Mikhail to suck those hips back out from under him and step into a full mount now. Yeah, he's really not rushing his, his positions. He's waiting for McCauley to make a move. Really nice use of the cage there. He's walking. Yeah, it looked like Mikhail's a little bit too high there. He's been able to sit back onto the hips of McCauley Donnelly here. He just needs to make sure he's got that strong base before he postures up. And again, you see Donnelly trying to get himself into a position where he can use his feet off the cage to destabilise his man. Raphael really just trying to force his man back down there to the ground to try to land some, some strikes there. Real nice use of the head, uh, pushing the head. But we could switch to a triangle here. The triangle there if he, if he can recognise it. Donnelly's fans going absolutely wild, but he's not out of danger yet. Mikhail looking for that triangle. Donnelly trying to slam his way out here. Brute force. Oh, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Trying to lift his man up to get some impact on those slams. But he's a bad spot here. And the clock runs out. Really fun into that round. He noticed the triangle was there and he took it. And his man had to use brute force to try and slam out of it. Very fun into that round. Well, it's keeping the crowd here at the Bolton Arena on their feet. If nothing else, and we'll see how much that has taken out of both these men as we step into the second round, Harry. Yeah, not often something you see uh, such sub submission wrestling uh, prowess from Frank Jim, man, but he's really showing his prowess against uh, uh, a, quite a grappling, grappling known gym in uh, SBG. So, Harry, if you're in the corner of the SBG man, Macaulay Donnelly, what's the advice going into this second round? Just watch the level change. You try and keep your pace, keep, keep your distance on the feet, try and keep it stood. That's where uh, Macaulay looks a lot more comfortable at the minute. He's kind of noticeably looking over at uh, Raphael, saying he looks quite tired. So, keep on the feet, target the body. 
and when he gets tired, just try and pick up the pace, put the pressure on him. If you can get a tail of your own, why not? Martin Stapleton giving some final instructions to Donnelly there. Of course, Stapleton in action himself next weekend. Busy times for the SPG Rochdale camp. Seconds out, and round two is just moments away here at FCC 25. Both guys, in terms of body language, looking fairly fresh coming into this second frame. McHale in that southpaw stance against the orthodox Donnelly. The Donnelly's looking quite raw with his strike when he's coming to here. His head's right down the centre line. He needs to move his head a little bit more, keep his man guessing. In the minute he's, he's kind of telegraphing what he's, what he's moving into. And Frank, uh, Jim's man in uh, Raphael, he's just finding success with whatever he wants. Nice right hand there from Donnelly. They clinch up now. Raphael Mikhail looking to keep this in close quarters, but he finds himself with his back on the cage here. Yeah, a bit of a difference from the, from the uh, first round. Uh, looking a lot more composed in the second round is... Nicola Donnelly, that head control really grinding away on Rafael Mikhail. It'll be interesting to see what happens Beautiful here. Beautiful takedown. If, if Donnelly does get the takedown. Oh, he steps over into mount though. Mikhail immediately with the transition. And Mikhail now on top. That's exactly what you've got to do. If you get you if you get taken down like that, there's still some momentum there that you can use against your opponent. You can't stay still for, for long, otherwise your opponent's going to end up cementing on that position. And immediately trying to get back to his feet here on the cage is Donnelly. And they have to be careful though. Mikhail got a good grip of that ankle with the right hand. Mikhail just needs to watch out for that post. Now his man stood back up. He only to Oh, a beautiful takedown. Nice snatch. You know, under those amateur rules, of course, Donnelly doesn't have the elbows to attack there, which would be the perfect weapon. Mm. He's having to make do with it with the short punches. Really hanging on to that leg, Raphael. Yeah, like a dog with a bone is Raphael Mikhail here with those grips on the ankles. It's very comfortable uh, deciding to wrestle this fight, fight than actually stand up and, and fight with the SBG Raphael man. But what's debatable here is, is if Mikhail is actually scoring points because all he's really doing here is changing the position and under the new guidance for scoring mixed martial arts bouts that take down the only results they change position doesn't score as effective grappling. He's got to get into a solid spot where he can actually put some offense on his plate. And that's not what he's doing here. It's actually Macaulay Donnelly with strikes, even in this defensive stance, that's probably scoring the points here. Yeah, he's looking dangerous off his back, dangerous on, on, when he's on the back foot, but really nice pressure by Raphael to try and get that back straight away. He's wasting no time here. Raphael not looking like he wants to strike at all there. I mean, Donnelly with his back to him, he could have unleashed a head kick or a big hook there, but immediately wanted to close the distance. It's Donnelly though, again looking for a takedown here. He has to be very careful. He doesn't get swept over again as he looks to pass. The guard sits down in full mount. Let's see what Macaulay Donnelly can do here. Final 10 seconds. It looks like he's maybe just going to ride this right now at Harry and he does and, and for my money that's another round for Macaulay Donnelly there he, he was on the back foot for a considerable amount of it but it was him landing the strikes and we didn't really see a whole lot from Rafael Malik apart from the initial takedown entry so it'll be an interesting one for our judges to score I think yeah you can't just hang on to your man these days you can't just hold on to him you've got to you've got to be active you've got to make something uh, accountable for yourself and that's exactly what Macaulay's been doing he's been defend even when he's been trying to get taken down on his back he's been throwing strikes he's been making his position count even in the triangle in the first round he was slamming his way out of it he's been active throughout and you can't argue with that Let's see what happens in this third and final frame. Second round, a tight one perhaps for the judges to score. Both guys having the moments in the first round as well. Could well come down to this third and final frame. Rafael Mikhail, Macaulay Donnelly. We head to the third round for the first time here tonight at FCC 25. And the referee calling for the seconds to leave the cage. And perhaps as we go into this third round, it's Macaulay Donnelly looking the slightly fresher, slightly livelier of the two. Certainly 
the more eager of the two to get down to business in the third round. Yeah, straightforward on the, on the front foot, no touch of gloves there, which is interesting. He's going to be sticking his jab there a little bit. Looks a bit more comfortable, he's throwing shots, nice, close to the distance. We've got to watch the guillotine from Raphael. Looking yeah. to, well, he's looking for the double leg takedown, but Raphael jumping to that guillotine. It's tough to see exactly what kind of grip he's got there. The arm is in. It's make it slightly more different to finish from this position, especially crushed against a cage like this. Yeah, he'd really to tie them legs up, lock, lock that guard, and try and put, put a bit of pressure through. But now he's escaped it. Macaulay is raining down blows onto Raphael. Macaulay Donnelly's fans roaring in approval as the SPG man looks for the finish in the third round. He's definitely hunting for it. The referee's right on top of the action. Raphael really isn't defending himself here. He's just sticking his arms up in the air, trying to... A really nice pass of the guard by Macaulay. Yeah, great stuff from Macaulay there. Mikhail finds himself flattened out in that sprawl position. Looking noticeably tired here. Doesn't seem to be trying to progress his position, trying to get back into a, into a, some, some form of defence for himself. You know, it's an awkward position for Macaulay Donnelly to punch from, but he's certainly not stopping throwing those blows down anyway. Being relentless with the strikes, he's have to keep something in the tank for if or when he does get out of this position. Well, if, if your opponent's trying to recover a position, and you keep throwing a strike, it stops him from, from thinking. It's a constant distraction of where the next shot going to be going to be coming from. And that's a great game plan from McCauley. He's been stopping his man any time. He's been trying to get a takedown so far in this round. And activity matters, and so far, Donnelly's taken it. In the Kale's corner, shouting instructions from across the cage. But Harry, as you say, Martin steps in the corner there saying, just keep punching. I mean, so far, it's been working in mean, the activity. He's got a nice underhook there. He could try and turn his man over. But if he could keep punching, it's a, per it's a perfect game plan. It's worked so far. And the referee going to stand them up there. Yeah, we do see these stand-ups a little bit sooner under the amateur rule set than you would for the professionals. Of course, only three minutes in the round here. And I think the referee's checking the uh, the glove there of Donnelly. Perhaps one of his fingers have just come loose of the strapping. Can one of these men pull something out of the bag here in the third round and find that dramatic finish? I think one of them just really needs to pull the trigger now on the feet. They've, they've wrestled, they've seen what each other have got. But with the last 10 seconds goes, one needs to pull the trigger here. They both look quite raw. It's quite a stalemate on the feet. And we go the distance for the first time tonight. That's going to be a very interesting clash for our judges. In my mind, Harry, I think Macaulay Donnelly's probably done enough there on the judges' scorecards, but you never do know how the judges see it. I agree, you just can't, you can't try and go for a take on the whole run these days. Activity matters, and I've said that a few times so far, but that's exactly what Macaulay Donnelly's done this fight. Made his shots count, stopped his man from thinking, and kept looking more active, more aggressive fighter, and that's what matters. After three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards with unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue corner.